Merci beaucoup. Oh le... Voilà, je crois que... Oh Voilà, 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 voilà. Vous êtes sur la radio Bissonio Sokongor DC du peuple, une radio au centre de vos préoccupations. Ah bon Oui, tapez www radio congo news.com pour accéder dans notre site et avoir toutes nos informations. Soyez le mieux informé dans le monde numérique. Notre mission, c'est de vous informer, vous former et vous divertir. Écoutez, la radio Bisognonso, Congo RDC. Nous transmettons tous les jours de la semaine 24 heures sur 24 sur les ondes à partir de l'Amérique, UVC. Voilà. Bonjour, uh, Topé, bonsoir, uh, Bande Konangaï, Boko Landa, émission Oyo, uh, Tososa et Labino. Alors, cette émission, nous sommes qui uh, figure au Tchila Kibino. C'est-à-dire, uh, nous sommes venus ici uh, pour une chose. La chose que nous sommes venus parler, et Zali, il y a un de Konabiso, il y a un conseil en Abiso, il y a un combo, il y a Deborah Kaimbi. Accord Rwanda, euh, Royaume-Uni, pour nous assister à la réfugiée, à notre concert Deborah Kaimbi, euh, s'est opposé à cela, euh, à Boyango, et puis elle a écrit, euh, n'est-ce pas, à Boris Johnson, le premier ministre anglais, pour nous, Koué Bissaye, qui est réellement contre ce plan. Alors, euh, directement, euh, notre conseil maintenant subit un peu de menaces. Je vais euh, quand même, euh, qu'on ait menace non société, mais en tout cas, elle subit une forte pression, une forte pression de la part du gouvernement de Kagame, euh, pour nous, nous avons à commis. Nous avons à se plaindre, parce que, il faut le dire d'abord à Zali Citoyen, même si elle a des origines congolaises, mais elle a, euh, je pense aussi qu'elle peut avoir déjà la nationalité, il y a Grande-Bretagne. Donc, euh, elle a le droit, parce qu'elle paie aussi ses impôts, de s'opposer, et tout, tout étant qu'elle intellectuelle, et puis elle est avocate, de se poser des questions. Monsieur le Premier ministre, est-ce que vous avez ou raisonné L'acte que vous voulez poser, est-ce qu'il n'y a pas de préjudice Est-ce qu'il n'y aura pas de retour Est-ce que ça ne va pas menacer d'autres pays Surtout qu'elle est d'origine congolaise. Est-ce comme ça que notre soeur, consoeur de Kaimbe, a posé des questions au Premier ministre Boris Johnson pour nous dire que qui Azali contre plan Yakagame ou Yokani pour nous continuer à la réfugier dans Rwanda. Et au moment où je vous parle, nous avons subi des menaces graves, nous avons menace grave, nous avons même Kagame Mouta Komeli, premier ministre de la Grande-Bretagne, pour nous faire des notre soeur Deborah Kaimbe, Namosala. C'est vraiment regrettable, mais ça montre combien Kagame essaie un peu de menacer tout le monde qui bouge, tout ce qui bouge, tout qui parle contre son, son système. Il y a qu'on manipule les bateaux. Kagame fait même à l'extérieur. Il se croit tout permis. Il se croit ayant droit. Même s'opposer à une quelqu'un qui est des nationalités de ce pays. Mais Kagame va influencer même la politique anglaise. Pour Naba Longola, sœur Nabisho Moussala. Donc, voilà le pourquoi nous sommes dit. Nous allons soutenir notre concert Kaim. On va la soutenir. C'est quand même c'est trop. 
C'est à ce qui est Kagame. Jusqu'à venir menacer une personne à l'extérieur. D'ailleurs, il, il menace les gens au Congo. Il fait des trucs au Congo. Il soutient des groupes armés au Congo. Et là, Kagame ne se gêne pas à venir même à l'extérieur du pays menacer notre consoeur à travers sa position. Mais elle est libre de prendre sa position. Elle a pris une position farouche de s'opposer à ses plans parce que nous tous, nous le disons, on ne sait pas qu'est-ce qui, qu qui se cache derrière. Pourquoi Paul Gagame a choisi que de, euh, des hommes au lieu de femmes et de couples, qu'est-ce qui se cache derrière cela Quel est le plan de Kagame mais là, quand on se pose ces questions, on est devenu, je ne sais pas, non, on est là pour s'opposer. Et on se pense que non, si la grande Bretagne envoie ses réfugiés au Rwanda, mais ils ne vont pas rester. D'ailleurs, la grande question se pose, on ne croit même pas que ces réfugiés vont arriver au Rwanda. Peut-être qu'ils vont transiter à Goma parce qu'aujourd'hui, un Rwanda euh, a mis, euh, euh, n'est-ce pas, son atterrissage, son espace ou bien... Euh, son aéroport international à Goma. Peut-être qu'ils vont descendre à Goma et puis rester là à Goma. Mais on a le droit de se demander. Au Rwanda, il y a les indices qui montrent ici qu'il y a la pauvreté, il y a tout, tout. Comment Kagame va donner les emplois à ces gens-là, donner le traitement, tout ça Comment Kagame va le faire Il y a un problème de terre, d'espace au Rwanda. On se pose des questions, mais comment Kagame va résoudre ces problèmes S'il reçoit ses réfugiés on ne connaît pas les nombres, on ne connaît pas les identités. Mais là, si ces réfugiés-là se versent vers l'est du Congo, qu'est-ce qui va se passer Il y aura encore des troupes, il y aura des troubles, il y aura peut-être des, 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 des kamikazes. On ne sait pas. On doit les demander. Et tant que pays voisins, et surtout ce que nous subissons aujourd'hui dans, dans l'est du Congo, si on regarde bien l'auteur, c'est le Rwanda. Maintenant, si on se pose ces questions, Kagame, c'est quoi tout permis C'est quoi ayant droit jusqu'à déplacer ses frontières et venir donner des, lords, des ordres au gouvernement britannique pour que notre consoeur, Deborah Kaimbe, soit, soit sanctionné Mais, mais c'est vraiment inadmissible C'est vraiment, vraiment inadmissible Ma soeur Deborah Kaimbe, We are together. We support you. We support you, our sister Deborah Kaimbe. What you did, you not did just by yourself. You did that for those guys in Congo. I need your assistance. What you did is more and more, more important and powerful. And you shows, even, I don't know, maybe you change your nationality. But you remain Congolese as a native. Thank you so much. We appreciate what you did for this country. And the same thing is the same message you were asking uh, the British Prime Minister, Joris, Boris Johnson. In Congo, we have a lot of problems right now. We have a lot of problems in Congo, in the east of Congo. And I know you know that better than me. Because every day you receive the information everywhere in the world. In 1997, the UN, when there was a war in Rwanda, the, Rwanda, the war we call genocide, you ask Kagame or Mobutu regime, the president of Exaire, to receive those guys who was running from Rwanda. It was a problem, but Mobutu agreed. He opened the door of Congo to receive those guys. After 20 years, right now in Congo or Rwanda, in Congo we still have a problem, but in Rwanda there is a peace. That's why Mr. Joris Boris Johnson is sending the refugee, because if there was a war in Rwanda, I don't think you can send a refugee there. Because there is a peace in Rwanda right now, that's why you're sending a refugee there. But, don't forget, it 
to UN and the international community, community ask the Zaire regime to open the door to receive those refugees. Now there is a peace in Rwanda. Why the international community or the UNA can convince Kagame to make a dialogue to talk to those FDLR? Why not? We have the EDF, which if we look where they are from, they are from Uganda. They are from Uganda. So, but why the UNA and the international community asking Museveni to make a dialogue to talk to those guys? Any time when the army groups are attacking our army or citizen in the east of Congo, the international community asking the government, the Congolese government, to make a dialogue with them. So you can have a peace. Let those guys join the army. Let those who want to do politics, let them do politics. Give them some uh, uh, seat. Let them be the minister. So you can have a peace. But after 20 years, we still have the same issue. Those peace dialogue or talk didn't resolve the problem of Congo after 20 years. But where is the problem come from? 1997, UNA, international community, asked Mobutu regime to open the door. Mobutu did the same. And after 20 years, why? Same UNA and the international community asking Gagame and Museveni to talk with their people who are in Congo, in the east of Congo, bringing the problem every day. Now it's time we don't know those the UK refuge, the refugee, the UK refuse. So we're sending them in Rwanda. But we take talking right now and we're telling you the truth. In Rwanda, they don't have a space. They don't have a place to put those guys you're sending them. You're sending them. So if you send them there, you have to make sure like those guys that will be staying in Rwanda. We know that we don't stay in Rwanda. That will pass in Congo. That will go in Congo. That's why our sister, Deborah Kayembe, write a statement to you. She's opposed to your plan. Because all the Congolese right now, they are fighting to bring peace in the east of the country. We are fighting every day to bring peace in the Congo. Every day we receive a lot of message in our phone. Our father, mother, sister, brother are killed rape how they are moving everywhere they don't know even where to go there is some people living now in the brush they are scared of army groups in the east of Congo there is no solution after 20 years same thing right now we don't need to bring another problem. We don't need to bring another issue in the east of Congo. So let this place to be peaceful, Mr. Boris Johnson. Our sister just write to you to explain to you why can what can happen if you send those people in Rwanda. That's simple writing. It didn't bring R to you. So why Kagame opposing to her and asking you or some of your guys to, rem to remove him 
in uh, her position in university, the place she's working. So to write to you, to make a statement or to oppose to Kagame plan is a crime? Is a crime? Who's Kagame? He can come, can come to UK, UK and change? Oh, <laughs> I don't know. Who's Kagame? We don't understand, but our concern is just, please, Mr. Premier Minister, don't send those refugees in Rwanda because they will not stay in Rwanda. That will pass to make a trouble in Congo. Thank you. Voilà, un peu le message qu'on avait. Et in the same time, we're asking our intellectual people. We have a lot of, we have a lot of intellectual people in the outside of the country. Why you guys don't stay, stand up like our sister did? We have a lawyer, we have a doctor, we have a professor, we have a teacher. Why don't why you guys don't stand up? Like our sister Deborah Kaimbe did. You just watching us doing the show, right? In the TV. Now, let them talk. Let them talk. So, what's going on in the Congo is not your concern. It's not your problem. It's not your business. You don't care. You don't care. Because you have a good job. You have a good family. The place you live. And where you're from. It's not your concern right now. You have to think twice. Wherever you are, think where you're from. You have family still in this country. Father, mother, or your sister, cousin, they're still living there. They need your help. They need your assistance. So if you cannot make a show on the TV, you can write. You can contribute in different way but why you guys outside the country a lot of people living in the usa in the united states uk all those countries that speak english they don't stand up they don't do nothing just watching they're scared about kagame they're scared about because if you talk you write they will send your name in the congo so you cannot back in the congo They're scared about death because they said if you talk too much, they'll kill you. That's why the people are scared. Man, death can come anytime, anytime, in different ways. There is a lot of people die today that will just sleep yesterday, sleep yesterday, and then tomorrow they try to wake up them, they didn't wake up again. Did they talk about politics? No. The accident happened today in a different place. Those guys talk about politics? No. It's happened, it's happened. I mean, we're born to die. There is no one can live eternity in this what? This country or in this world. There is no one. We born to die and we will die to whatever time is coming, you go. So no nothing can stop you to talk about your Congo, your country. Why you don't guys, why you guys don't stand up? You are a professor, you are a teacher, you are a lawyer. When something happening in the Congo, you just shut your mouth. And you just making some emotional when you are with your brother. Oh, we are sorry, but what we can do? You don't do nothing. You never even write a letter sending to the White House, sending to British uh, Prime Minister. You don't want to write. But you just have a concern. You have a just like crying like by yourself, like, uh, I don't know what you're doing, what you did. How ah, we can help this country? We need to help Congo, man. We need to stand up for Congo, man. 
I don't know if you guys receive the same message we re we're receiving here every day. I don't know if you guys are reading the news every day. Do you know how many people died today in the east of Congo? Do you know how many? Why are you guys? You are outside. You are in the peace country. Security country. Why you don't want to talk about Congo? Please, Congo, Congolese people, stand up. Wherever you are, stand up. Stand up, please. Stand up. Voilà. Euh, moi, message, Joana. Euh, peuple congolais, pour euh, nos intellectuels, bah, j'appelle la Libanda. Ah, ouais. Et bien là, bah, intellectuels, tous les gens dans Congo, tous les gens dans la Libanda, ils ne veulent pas parler du Congo. S'ils parlent du Congo, ils ont peur, tellement peur. Ils pensent que parler du Congo, ça va leur coûter la vie. Ça va leur coûter beaucoup de choses et beaucoup de privilèges. Les Congolais préfèrent le privilège que de parler de leur pays, comme notre consoeur Deborah Kaimbe vient de faire. En tout cas, ma soeur, Togo Tika Ote, à chaque fois. Merci de la contribution, Nayo Makashi Osali, Nzambe Nalikolo, Apambolayo, et Ozala toujours vaillante plutôt, Nabitumba Nayo, et puis Ozana Yo, Nassan Yaba Congolais, même si, dans le lobby, même si, je ne sais pas, aux qui peut-être une nationalité, il y a ici qu'aux allées. Merci de la contribution. Merci, merci beaucoup. Ciao, peuple congolais. Ciao, ciao, ciao. Ciao, bande de Ciao. Radio Mix Congolaise, meilleur instrument de la télécommunication. La radio mix congolaise qui diffuse la bonne qualité sonore. Tous les jours sur les ondes, informe les peuples congolais sur le droit de vivre et d'expression, de parler, abat les antivaleurs, abat la corruption, abat la discrimination. Restez branchés sur la radio mix congolaise.